My name is Samuel G. Wainaina. This is Anza. You start a business. One year, two years, the business is doing good. But then along the way, you start to realize that business is not always about making profits. It's not always about you know, closing books at the end of every financial year. You start to come across words such as employee appraisals, performance management. What do these words mean? Why are they important when running a company? My guest today, he will answer all these questions. But first, uh, let's get to know him much better. Mr. Paul, Karibu Sana. Sante Sana Sam. I know people want to know who is this man, Mr. Right. Paul Nguni. Right. Can you describe yourself? Great. So, my name is Paul Nguni. I am a performance management consultant. I help professionals and business people to become better performers. Everybody in life wants to perform better. Everybody wants to be successful. And I help people make that journey easier. Mm -hmm. So I am the founder and mm -hmm. the lead consultant at uh, Better People Consulting. Mm -hmm. And that is our business. Mm -hmm. Our business is people and business. People and business. Making them better, mm -hmm. making them perform um, and exceed their performance expectations. Fantastic. Yes. And now you are the founder of Better People Consulting. Eh? Correct. How, how was it, you know, starting <clears throat> your company? So, good question. Starting my company is a journey that started very long ago. And the interesting thing is that uh, uh, Better People Consulting is about people and businesses, but my <laughs> background, my career background for a long time uh, was, was information technology. Um, and therefore, it had to be a journey starting Better People Consulting because over the long period of um, working, I realized that I was helpful to many people, young age mates, uh, older, mm -hmm. in helping looking into issues of life issues of business and the more we would talk the more they would find solutions and uh, I thought why not then professionalize this so that I do not just advise people based on what I think or I feel mm -hmm. but uh, from a little more expanded uh, perspective mm -hmm. so that's how I ended up um, going back to school and study psychology mm -hmm. And I studied a, pro a branch of psychology called industrial psychology. Industrial psychology. Industrial psychology. Wow. Industrial psychology is a branch of psychology that deals with people at the workplace. Mm -hmm. um, the key question that we always look to ask and answer is, mm -hmm. why is it that some people perform better than others, mm -hmm. um, given similar environments, similar experiences, similar um, uh, IQs and, and resources. And now, before we talk of uh, your experience with people, you know, coming up with the, the name, how hard or how easy was it? Ah, it, it, it was not e easy at all. Uh -huh. Never easy coming up with a name. Mm -hmm. To be, uh, to tell you um, the truth, mm -hmm. I didn't have the name Better People mm -hmm. until very late. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, before calling Better People mm -hmm. that name, I already had another name. Uh, and when I tell you the name I was using, you'll be wondering, what, what, what does it mean? Why did you want to use that name? <laughs> Do you want to know the name? Yes, can you tell us the name? <laughs> it was called uh, Wajibu Wangu. Wajibu Wangu. Yes. That was the first name of your business. Yes. <laughs> Wajibu Wangu Consulting. Okay. Right? <laughs> Why are you laughing at my name? <laughs> Wajibu Wangu. Hey. <laughs> Wajibu wangu. So that's, that's, that's the, mm -hmm. 
that's the, the your reaction exactly is mm -hmm. the reason I had to look for a name. Okay. Because first of all, people would wonder what is Wajibu Wangu. Mm -hmm. Well, the intention was very clear mm -hmm. that I wanted people to understand that it is their personal responsibility mm -hmm. to grow themselves mm -hmm. and to push themselves to their destiny. It is not anybody else's responsibility. At least there are some a good reason behind the name. <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. But you see, what you understand as an entrepreneur is not what your customer understands. Yes. And you don't want to spend a lot of time telling people what is behind the name. And I'm sure being branding experts on yes. your side, yes. you know that you don't want something that people will always wonder. What's, what's uh, up? What's, what's this? this? Yes. Although later on, if you grow something, people really don't care too much about the name. Okay. But when you're starting, people really care. Now we're talking over now people starting a business. And of course, for you, I know uh, you have been uh, in a people, you know, better people consulting for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you maintain that focus? Very good you use that word, focus, mm -hmm. because why many businesses fail is because of lack of focus. And the reason many businesses fail because of lack of focus is because of lack of clarity. Um, if you want to succeed in anything, whether personal or business levels, you must have a clarity of where it is that you are coming from mm -hmm. and where it is that you're going. For mm -hmm. instance, if you're starting a business, mm -hmm. what exactly is that business going to look like? Mm -hmm. You just don't want to start a business because you have nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to start a business because you're unhappy about your employer. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to start a business. You must have a real good reason why you want to start a business mm -hmm. because it will fail quickly if you don't. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is knowing the, um, the, the products that you want to sell or okay. services, mm -hmm. who the, your customer is going to be, mm -hmm. uh, how you will reach out to those people, mm -hmm. um, the entire process um, is very important to be clear about right from the word go. That's mm -hmm. why I always recommend that anytime you want to do anything, you must start with the end in mind. You mentioned happiness. And of course, you, uh, everyone wants to be successful. Absolutely. What's the connection between happiness and, and success? Three things that we emphasize in our programs mm -hmm. are uh, success, mm -hmm. greatness, and happiness. And happiness. Wow. Anytime you interact with us, mm -hmm. we want to ensure that you gain success, mm -hmm. you reach out to your greatness, mm -hmm and that you're happy. Mm -hmm. One thing that every human being is looking for, knowingly or unknowingly, is happiness. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you knew that. Mm -hmm. Many, everybody is looking for happiness, mm -hmm. but, uh, and that's a question I always ask my mm -hmm. clients when I meet them. Um, because when I ask many people, what do you think people are looking for in life? They say, oh, I think the one thing you're looking for is money, mm -hmm. or wealth, or greatness. Then I ask, then, then what else? Then when you get money, what happens? I want more money. Then when you get more money, what do you want? Mm -hmm. I, so there is no end mm -hmm. to how much you can have. Mm -hmm. But there is a way of telling whether that is meeting your purpose or mm -hmm. not. And that is happiness. So end goal should always be, be happiness? That's what you're saying? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, it, and, it's, uh, and, uh, and this is why it becomes exciting because... Mm -hmm. Happiness is not a destination. Okay. It, is, it is actually a continuous thing. And, and there are people who tell me, I mean, what do you mean? I, I exist not to be happy. I exist to serve. So then what, when you serve, then what happens? Mm -hmm. And um, how do you serve if it is not bringing you joy and happiness? Mm -hmm. How do you do whatever, whatever it is that you do? Mr. Nguji will take a short break. Keyword, happiness. Keep it. Anza. <laughs>